Is this thing on? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, don't touch it. Okay, jeez. Hello, my name is Tiffany Young, your host for a brand new NAVFAC Southeast monthly feature called The Scoop. The people of NAVFAC Southeast do a lot of different things in support of the Navy's missions. The Scoop is designed to share all the great things we do across our enterprise all in one place. So without further ado, here is January's episode of The Scoop. NAVFAC Southeast Commanding Officer Captain Mike Monreal spoke at the Annual Society of American Military Engineers, or SAME for short, Industry Day event at the University of North Florida Conference Center on December 4th. Attended by approximately 220 guests, the conference consisted of a full day of guest speakers and provided networking opportunities for business professionals in the field of engineering that help strengthen our national defense and daily business operations. The command's involvement with the same provides a strong bridge between industry and Department of Defense partners. A tornado touched down on board Naval Submarine Base Kings Bay on December 2nd. The next day, a contingency engineering response team dispatched from NAVFAC Southeast Headquarters. Here with us today is the NAVFAC Southeast Disaster Preparedness Officer, Lieutenant Commander Ryan Throne. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. So can you please share with us how responding to a tornado compares to a hurricane? So yeah, there's a lot of similarities and there's also a lot of differences. Uh, it's the same team we send out, uh, same group of engineers and experts that know how to assess damage. But uh, with a tornado, it's a lot more localized damage. It's in a lot faster pace. What was the damage like on board Kings Bay after the tornado? Uh, so a lot of the damage was the same types of things we would see in a hurricane. Uh, a lot of downed trees, uh, roofs torn off, siding damaged, and a lot of debris thrown in the water because it was localized to a, an area on the waterfront. In what ways were you able to help Kings Bay get back to normal operations? So we uh, coordinated with a lot of uh, other agencies and Navy teams. Um, so the PWO worked uh, with the assistance operations officer in getting the mobile diving, mobile diving and salvage unit out to survey the water and pull a wreckage out and also do um, some channel surveys with the Army Corps of Engineers. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today and for all the work you and your team do throughout the year. Thank you. Hi. I'm Gabriel Taylor, Safety Specialist here at NAFAC Southeast. Occupational Safety and Health Administration reports that slips, trips, or falls are the cause of over 20% of all workplace-related injuries. They can be caused by substandard walking surfaces, surface contaminants, footwear, or walking style of the person. Housekeeping and proper lighting of your workspace or working surfaces will help to prevent most slips, trips, and falls. You should also check the weather and make sure that your footwear is suitable for the expected weather for that day. Following these simple steps will prevent slips, trips, and falls in your work area. Stay safe out there. The holiday season is a great time for luncheons, contests, and other events celebrated with our family, friends, and coworkers. Let's take a look at some of the ways our NAVFAC family celebrated.
Thank you to all who shared and we hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season. Now to turn it over to Joey Burnett for sports. Joey? Thanks, Tiffany. For three years in a row, NAFAC Southeast has held the title of Naval Air Station Jacksonville's Captain's Cup Champions. Sadly, the dynasty formerly led by Jason Borman has officially come to an end. NAFAC Southeast came in second place in the 2018 standings, falling just 244 points short of first place winners TPU PCF. Next year, we need your help to reclaim the title. There are many events held throughout the year featuring a wide range of sports to accommodate everyone. Command participation is the biggest factor in how Captain's Cup points are tallied. I encourage every employee to check with their local base MWR to find out how you can participate in local base events. Hope to see everyone out there. That's all I have for now. Until next month, Tiffany. Thanks for that on the field report, Joey. I'm standing outside Public Works Department Jacksonville. Let's take a look at what the other PWDs have been doing in the Southeast region. Thank you for joining us for the very first episode of The Scoop. If you have a story you would like to share with us, please email us at the address here. To keep in touch in between episodes, follow us on our Command Facebook page and YouTube channel. Until next time, goodbye!